Are you coming in or are you staying out? What is it? <laughs> Why are you coming in afterwards, sir? Going in afterwards. Yes. Thank you all. Nice to see you. Yeah. It brings back a lot of memories. What what stands out the most when you're back in the captain's chair? This chair stands out the most. This is an outstanding chair, and I feel very comfortable sitting in it. So I'm not going to get up. The best part of meeting the fans. Is the, is, the, is the fans. Okay. I mean, this set is exactly the way it was 50-odd uh, years ago. And, uh, and it's like coming back to a house that you might have been born in, and you go to look around, and you see it like, wow, it's bigger and smaller than I remember. And yet it's the same. So if you're interested in Star Trek, this is, this is extraordinary. Um, well, he was a dear friend, and he's no longer with us, so I, I... All kinds of things happened here. There were emotional moments, there were uh, funny... I mean, we had a lot of laughs on the set. Things would break down. Uh, the door, for example, the elevator, supposed to open like, like a proximity uh, door. Uh, it opens automatically. Uh, it doesn't on the set, okay? Uh, especially on the set 55 years ago. Uh, there'd be a guy back there who would, I hate to destroy your illusion, but there'd be a, a guy pull it open, but he had to see you coming. And he'd be so bored by the time the scene was over and I was going to make an exit. He'd either gone or he'd fallen asleep and, and I'd hit the door. I'd crash into the door. Uh, and then I began to learn to make my own whoosh sound as I went out the door. No, I was going to get out of it. <laughs>